Hello friends, welcome back to English Carpe Omnia. Now, very often we write stories or we narrate stories to others. We very often use the oft-quoted, cliched phrase, once upon a time. But once upon a time is not really suitable for all the cases, for all the situations. I will show you how we can use various other alternatives to once upon a time. Here it is. Pay attention. So the oft quoted and cliched phrase is Okay, so this is how we begin a story with the phrase once upon a time and then we move ahead but once upon a time literally means once or sometime in the past but if we think properly, then we have to understand if we can use this phrase in all the situations. Take for example, three situations, long past, recent past, present and future. So these are different time frames. So once upon a time is best suited for long past, especially with themes like fairy tale, historical past, or say stories, fictitious or otherwise from the long past. But whenever we talk about recent past, once upon a time is not that much suitable. Again, the phrase cannot be used in case of a situation which is happening at present. Or if we try to narrate a story in the present tense, then once upon a time is not at all suitable. And again, we cannot narrate a story that happened in the past in the future tense. So as you can see, once upon a time is best suited for a situation or a story happening in the long past. So then what could be the ideal alternatives to this common phrase once upon a time? Let's have a look at them and try to use them in different situations. Here we go. Always begin your story in this manner. And it is such a phrase as can be modified according to the situations or according to your purposes. Okay, so you can begin your story with it so happened that. It so happened once that. Or it so happened a long time back that. It so happened only last year that. It so happened with me once that. Again, it so happened once in the animal kingdom that. It so happened once with two friends with that. So this particular beginning could be ideal for the story involving two friends and a bear. Again, it so happened once between a tortoise and a hare. So you can use this particular beginning for the story, the tortoise and the hare. Then it so happened once with a woodcutter, that. So you see, we can modify the beginning according to the situation or according to our needs. Again, we can also use this particular phrase in present tense, like it so happens in a village every year that. Sometimes we might desire to narrate the story in the present tense. So we can use this particular phrase, but we cannot use once upon a time in this situation really. Again, it so happens in the jungle that. So notice that in all the situations, it and that, they are the beginnings and the ends of the phrase. And in between, we can bring about changes here and there to suit our purposes and needs. So I hope I have given or provided you a few alternatives to the much cliched phrase once upon a time, which most of the students use in the exams. So in order to bring variations and subtleties and your imagination fulfilled, you can just use these phrases to begin your stories with. So hope you got benefited. And if yes, don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more such contents in future as well. Thanks for watching.